Hello, welcome to this presentation. Here we discuss how the IAAS self-service user can set self-service portal preferences. General preferences for the self-service user support the reporting of notifications. The user's email address can be set and the locale for notification messages can be selected from the options presented. The self-service user can also select the default portal that appears on login. To avoid surprises for application consumers, self-service users should know when their server instances expire. As server instances near their expiration date, notifications let the self-service user know they have some decisions to make if the server should be maintained. Quota-oriented notifications let the self-service user know when allocated quota exceeds the threshold they provide. The self-service user can also set default values for server deployment, including the default server root password, the default zone, and the default source software. The server root password appears preloaded when deploying a server. The default zone is that in which servers are deployed for the self-service user. The default source software is an Oracle assembly or template, which is frequently used. We can now take a look at how to set these self-service user preferences. Start by logging in as a self-service user. In this session, the user is Sales Self-Service User 1, which was created with a role based on the default Oracle Enterprise Manager role, EMSSA User. The default page at login presents all cloud services which Oracle Enterprise Manager Cloud Control can support. Click on the Username menu, navigate through Preferences, to SSA Portal Settings. The Preferences interface appears. The default general settings include an email address for accepting notification messages and the locale used for formatting the messages. For the default portal, select Infrastructure Oracle VM Cloud Services. That is the best option for self-service users of infrastructure provided by the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Click on the Request Status menu to see all the options available. You can set two different expiration notification events based on the defined number of days beforehand. You can set quota management thresholds to notify you when utilization passes defined percentages of allocation quota. Any of these notifications can be enabled by checking the boxes at the right side. Click on the Infrastructure Oracle VM option in the Preferences navigation menu at the left side of the interface. On this screen, you can set the default server password. This value is automatically applied in the Request and Clone Server interfaces where the root password and confirmation are provided. Click on the search icon next to the Default Zone for New Requests input. In the Select Zones interface, select the zone that the Request and Clone interfaces will preload. We click the Only Zone and click Select. Click on the search icon next to the Default Source software input. The source software interface appears with all the assemblies and templates that have been published to the self-service user. Over the near future, we deploy servers based on the generic Fusion Middleware WebLogic server. Click on that line in the list and click Select. Click Apply after all desired default values have been set and click OK on the confirmation message. Log out of the current session. Log in again as the Sales Self-Service User 1. You can see that the Infrastructure Oracle VM Cloud Services screen appears by default, just as set in the Self-Service User Preferences. This ends the presentation. Thank you for watching.